Alright, today I'm going to teach you guys how to take something like this, a nice clean coal car, and turn it into something like that. A nice weathered, dirty car. So, if that interests you, stay tuned. If not, uh, scroll down and find another video. Yeah, so this project shouldn't take too many materials. Pretty much just what I got laid out here. We're going to need some uh, airbrush thinner for some enamel paints. I use Model Masters. And some assorted Vallejo paints. There's some white, flat earth, ballast gray, and some black. And we also got the matte varnish to finish it off with. Now this process does use an airbrush. So if you're not using an airbrush, uh, this video is not going to help too much then. But yeah, some toothpicks, a couple little pipettes, and I use a Badger 150. Also remember to wear your PPE. Glove, pretty much just to keep paint from getting everywhere. And a little cheap mask just to kind of minimize adverse health effects. Uh, the first step is to dole it down a little, fade it out with just a little white paint. Don't go too heavy, just, you know, simple light sprays. Hit all the sides and the ends. Don't really worry about the bottoms. That's going to be pretty well covered with some road grime. And the object of this is just to take some of that shine off. Make them look like they're not brand new. So here we got a before and after, before on top, after on bottom. Pretty hard to tell which is which. That's about what we want, just knock off some of that shine. Alright now, let's get on with the fun part. Actually gonna make them look like they're weathered. Been getting dirty. For this part I use a Model Master Skin Tone Dark Tint. Looks quite a bit like some road grime. So, firstly I start with a little thinner. Oh, probably two parts thinner, one part paint to start with. And it really depends on how you want it. I prefer to put down light coats. <clears throat> that way I don't get it too heavy. And I can work with it a lot easier. So I start off on the bottom side, get that good road grind going. Ooh, turn that on. Always test your spray before you actually get going. That way, if it's not working right, you can change it before you put it on. I don't want these cars too dirty, so we're going to go fairly easy on it. That's 
it's usually best to start around the bottom side because that's where dirt collects the most. The bottom and the ends. And your overspray will usually take care of the top part. Just several light coats. It's already looking like it's had several years of use. Eh, hit the ends a little bit. And same thing on the other side. Pretty quick and simple. Alright, so here's a before and an after. And probably pretty obvious which is which. It's starting to look pretty good. Alright, next up is the trucks and the wheels. And it's pretty straightforward and simple. Just give them all a good coat of that skin tone dark tint. No need for light coats because this is the color we're actually painting them. spray down, that's all they need. You can also do these with a brush, but I mean that takes ten times longer. This is really quick. Alright, and that's all done. The next step to this is to weather with another color of brown. This one is just some Vallejo Flat Earth. It does pretty good at some of the newer grime. And we're just going to give it a really light coat because we don't want it to be overpowering. And again, thin it down pretty thin. Probably four part water to one part paint for this. And we're just going to go real easy on it. Not much at all. Uh, wheels tend to be a little, I'd say a little more of this flatter color than the trucks. So just give them a real light coat. Just a quick dusting, we don't want it to overpower. finish all this up and then I'll be right back. Alright, now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and do some weathering on the inside of the car. For that I'm going to use a little ballast gray for the first coat and then I'll add a little black to that for a second coat. So pretty much just light sprays like everything else. Now this is a part that I don't know a whole lot, I guess. 
looking at pictures, the insides of these cars tend to have that bare aluminum look, but for my purposes, I don't like that, so I knock off the shine a little bit. Make it look like it's been used. That shouldn't take too long, I'm just knocking some shine off. That's all there is to that part. Alright, so just a bit of a side note here. I find it looks a lot better if you go ahead and scrape off some of the paint where the little yellow reflector stripes are. Just makes them pop out a little more. Doesn't take too long, just scrape it off with a toothpick real gently. That way it stands out. That's all there is to it. Gets to looking pretty good. Uh, focus. There we go. Alright, so I went ahead and finished up the inside of the cars, put the black down. And it's just time to hit it with a little varnish. Seal it in so it doesn't scratch off. Personally, I prefer this Vallejo matte varnish. It's cheap, easy to get, dries quick, and it dries strong. I never had a problem with it. Thin it down 50-50 with some water and spray it on. I'd say put it on fairly thick, a couple thicker coats. Now, I'm not actually going to show that part because it's self-explanatory. Just run it through an airbrush. Alright, so that's how it's done. If you liked what you saw, stay tuned for more. If not, well, I guess that was a waste of 15 minutes. Thanks. Have a good day.